Hi folks, I'm talking now about Laws 62018, Serial Killers. 15 credit module assessed in January 2021. This module is concerned with serial murderers and the theories around why people commit this phenomenon um, and obviously it's an interesting opportunity people are fascinated with serial murderers uh, like I've said in the module handbook it's not just to pander to people's fascination but by studying these killers you get a very useful overview of the criminal justice system the time and energy that the criminal justice agencies spend dealing with these people, investigating their crimes, the use of a medical opinion, and often contested and drawn out appeals. So, for example, if you look at Kenneth Erskine, who was convicted in around 1990, 89, 90, and his final appeal was heard in 2009. So there's a, a lot of time and effort spent in dealing with these people, prosecuting them and dealing with the aftermaths. So by looking at some of the cases, you have an excellent opportunity to see how the criminal justice system works when it's under the maximum stress. Um, there are lots of criminological theories. Some of the theories you'll touch upon in this are psychological, psychology theories. Others are geographical from some of the skills you would have picked up from crime prevention and community safety, such as uh, David Cantor's geographical profiling. One of the themes that we're going to look at is the critique of the, the, U of the American, the FBI type offender profiling, which is not really looked upon in, in Britain as the most effective way, where the British profiling tends to be based on quantitative research, geographical mapping of hotspots, and David Cantor's theories around distance to travel. So you'll have an opportunity to provide a, a critique of that. You'll also be required to um, research and present in the workshops on serial murderers of your choice these are british so the lectures will be online on microsoft teams however the workshops will be interactive some of the workshops will be face to face so you'll be coming in hopefully coming in to take part in face to face workshops in fact you will be then sometimes leading on the workshops individually talking and presenting about your chosen killer and the academic theories that you believe best explain your killers and the phenomena so it's an excellent opportunity to practice and hone your presentation skills the assessment will be an online test examination with five short mini essays like short answer questions these will be uh, undertaken on microsoft forms so you they're, they're not like large essay answers they're smaller there's five of them so and these require you to discuss different um phenomena you're going to probably be asked to compare and contrast the different theories around profiling you'll probably be asked to explain and recall a British serial killer and try and apply some criminological theories to that. You may be also asked to critique the work of an academic. So there, there, that's a flavour of the assessment. That will be two hours. Again, that will be the week commencing, something like the, the 12th or 13th of January 2021. So this in this because this is a core module for you, 
Oh, hopefully you'll have the opportunity to come to the university and interact with the teaching staff and each other and present. So it's more of a traditional uh, level six module, not merely a module that will be delivered online. Any questions, then obviously message me on Teams. Essential reading, this book here. Psychology and Crime by Craig Webber, second edition. You can get it on Amazon from Sage, or you can get it from Sage. That's 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 the essential reading. And then the book by David Wilson that is on the module handbook, and also I've put it on the Microsoft Teams. And I've also put it on the Facebook group. So those two books are the books that you'll need. This book is the essential. Wilson, you can dip in and out of that if you want to, or any other books that you've got that you that are for British serial killers. Bear in mind this is England and Wales and Scotland. Uh, so remember that's what we're talking about. So we don't want any of the American cases. We're not interested in them. This is about England and Wales. Okay then. Enjoy.